Hi, I'm David M with Next Level Gents. Today, I'm going to share with you the proper way to wear dress shoes with jeans. You've probably heard that dress shoes and jeans should never be worn together because they're opposites when it comes to formality. While there's some truth to that, you can wear dress shoes with jeans. It just depends on the type and how you do it. Depending on the type of pants you own, chinos, corduroy pants, and trousers are excellent options. However, jeans can work. Jeans and dress shoes are a nice bridge between casual and formal. Before you pair any dress shoe with any pair of jeans, there are several factors to consider to ensure you look stylish. First, you need to wear the right jeans because not all jeans will work. The ideal pair of jeans are dark blue and fit well. Avoid wearing skinny, boot cut, or baggy jeans. The jeans shouldn't give you a cropped look or a bunch up at the bottom. Slim, straight, and tapered jeans are excellent options. The one you choose depends on your body type. Since dress shoes have a slim silhouette, jeans that offer a slimming and tapered look will look the best. When it comes to the length, go for a half break to no break, depending on how you want to wear the jeans. A half break will allow you to cuff the jeans, which can look great with dress shoes. If you cuff your jeans, do a small cuff to match the slim look. Also, be sure to wear no-show socks. For the design of the jeans, keep it simple. There shouldn't be bright or contrasting stitching bezels or pockets. The simpler, the better. You also don't want to wear jeans that have contrasting colors throughout or are faded. Also, skip the distressed jeans because they are way too casual. The best color is dark blue, but you can also go with a medium wash. Most of the time, you'll want to skip black jeans unless you're wearing black boots. Light colored jeans can also work, but they're more casual than dark jeans. Being more casual, they're more difficult to dress up and they really only look good with light brown loafers. It makes for a good summer look though. Aside from the jeans, the style of your shoes is also very important. The ideal dress shoe is a brown derby with broguing. Brown matches well with dark denim and the broguing makes the shoe more casual. The derby style is key. It has an open lacing system which is ideal because it's more casual. With an open lacing system, the tongue and vamp meet under the laces. You can put your finger in between. On the flip side, shoes with closed lacing such as Oxfords are more formal. The lacing system, tongue, and quarter are sewn under the vamp. It gives the shoe a more sleek and classy look, which is why they shouldn't be worn with jeans. For the color, brown is the most versatile. Avoid wearing black dress shoes with jeans because they're more formal. While most black dress shoes are too formal, you can wear black dress boots especially if they are wingtips or have broguing. Aside from the color and lacing system, several other features shouldn't be worn with jeans. The type of dress shoes matters. Oxford shoes are too formal and so are whole cut dress shoes. In most cases, capto shoes are too formal unless there's a lot of broguing. Think of it this way. The more designs there are, the more casual. That's why brogue shoes are good. Now you can also skip the classic lace dress shoe, and wear monk straps or loafers. They're both considered more casual than lace dress shoes, which are perfect for wearing with jeans. For material, leather is always a good option, but you can also wear suede because it looks incredible. It offers more texture and gives your outfit a more interesting and casual look. Another important note is that it's best to invest in the best quality shoes you can buy. They'll look better and last longer. Avoid wearing cheap dress shoes from fast fashion brands because they won't last. There aren't too many combinations that you can do, which makes styling dress shoes with jeans straightforward. First, you can wear a nice wool or cashmere sweater or a dress shirt by itself. Aside from that, wearing a dress shirt and sport coat is a classic way to pull off the jeans and dress shoe look. Another variation is to replace the dress shirt with a slim turtleneck sweater and keep the sport coat. You can also replace a sport coat by wearing a dress shirt and a sweater, like the one I'm wearing right now. You can wear a crew neck sweater, a v-neck, cardigan, or shawl collar. With a crew neck sweater and dress shirt, you can also add a sport coat right on top. If it's cold, you can also wear an overcoat with any of the outfits. One of the most overlooked aspects of wearing your dress shoes and jeans is your socks. First off, always wear socks. Going sockless can lead to smelly feet and blisters. If you want a sockless look, just wear no-show socks. Now aside from no-show socks, you can also wear dress socks. Don't wear black or white. Instead, match the color with your pants or wear a pair with patterns. 
Since you're wearing jeans, you can be more creative and bold with the pattern compared to wearing trousers or a suit. You have more flexibility when it comes to the dress socks you wear with jeans. Now that you know how to style jeans and dress shoes, when can you wear them? Jeans are casual pants regardless of how you try to dress them up. Adding dress shoes allows you to wear them with a button up which makes it look more dressy. So the jeans and dress shoe combination looks best for casual or business casual occasions. If you're going on a date or going out where formal wear isn't required, jeans and dress shoes can provide a good look. It's a great way to take your style to the next level. In closing, dress shoes can be worn with jeans, but not all dress shoes or jeans will work well together. The ideal way is to wear dark denim with brown derby brogues or suede dress shoes. Brown is ideal because it's the most versatile and looks so good with dark denim. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.